There is one very simple reason of why I decided to take on this challenge, and that is because it's hard. I've always been someone that says, I will start next week, and never does. The moment I do, I seem to get demotivated when the results I want don't come in fast, or even when I don't see the purpose of doing it. So what is the one thing I previously said I would do, and when the moment came, I actually never did? What is that one thing that requires no effort? but will actually get me out of the comfort zone. What is that one thing that will help me build discipline? What is that one thing that is hard and I can actually do right now? You, you may be asking, Matias, why on earth are you taking on this challenge? I mean, look outside, it's cold, even snow yesterday. And I even love the conformity of my warm shower and especially after a long day of work. We live in an age of conformity where everything we want, we get, where everything is a few minutes away from us. Let yourself go long enough and you will end up like the whale or those characters on the Wally -E movie without even noticing it. Comfort is the enemy. And while today you may feel perfectly comfortable where you are, if you never do something to change that, something as small as taking a cold shower to step out of your comfort zone, you will never build the discipline needed to achieve your wildest dreams. <laughs> oh man, let me tell you, cold showers hard hard, and so is life. When you least expect it, you will have to do things that are difficult, that will make you anxious, that will make you step out of your comfort zone. I've previously tried on this challenge before, but I obviously failed, just because I lack the one thing that I'm seeking to gain through this challenge. The same thing I lack when I start the gym every week attempting to get bigger and stopping after the first session. Or when I start eating healthy attempting to lose some fat and give up after a few days. Or even writing business ideas down without actually sitting down to execute them. Discipline. Discipline is what I've been lacking in an attempt to make a better life for myself. Discipline can help with building habits, and improve your mental health, physical health, and your overall life. And by starting this challenge, I hope that something as small as a cold shower will lead to a snowball effect to these other aspects of my life. As James Clear says in Atomic Habits, in order to build a habit, you need a cue, a response, and a reward. For me, the cue in this case is showering, an easy cue. My response is being the cold shower, an obvious response, but I lack a reward. A reward can be as easy as the benefits that this challenge might bring. But I jump on this challenge not knowing what my reward will be, hoping to find it along the way. In building a habit, you need motivation and discipline. Motivation is the initial drive or inspiration that will set you to start and get on this challenge. When motivation begins to fade out, that's where discipline comes in. And then you continue despite the emotions and the thoughts behind it. Over time, self-discipline diminishes as your behavior just become habits. If I wanted for this to stick, I knew I needed to start slow, or this challenge wouldn't survive. I mean, I attempted it twice before, and I never made it past day three. Failure again is not an option. Three times is charm. I don't know why I'm doing this. There's currently one degree. One freaking degree. It's the first day, and I'm nervous, honestly nervous, but yeah. What am I gonna do about it? I think uh, I just need to suck it up, hype myself up and go for it. <clears throat> and I'm so gonna regret this. So, so gonna regret this. Wish me luck. The very first day was scary, difficult, as if I was about to give the last exam of my life and I didn't know why. In the end, it's just a shower. Three, go! I decided that for the first half of this challenge, I would start with a lukewarm shower, slowly putting the temperature down until I couldn't go any further. Like this. Ah, that was good. Cold, but good. Unpleasant. That was my experience for the first time. And I'm not joking when I say it's cold, just look outside. By day three, I was looking forward to jumping in these cold showers. Time for day three. 
It will help me get the kick of energy and alertness I was seeking for the start of the day. The feeling of unpleasantness was gone. Time for day seven. On day seven, things started to take a turn and the uncomfortable feeling the thought of cold showers had started to dissipate. As if all of a sudden, I was able to rewire my brain to start liking that thing I hated the most, cold. I could start feeling what the reward was. Reward which I remind you, I started the challenge without. As the challenge progressed, this cold shower just became part of the normal routine. Towards the end of this challenge, I was enjoying the warmth the cold shower had to offer. Now, as for lessons learned for this challenge, I felt a sense of accomplishment after each shower. Feeling accomplished helped me with a tough moment I was going through. It aided in getting out of burnout by boosting my self-esteem. Overcoming the discomfort of a cold shower requires mental strength and willpower. And when you manage to endure it, you feel proud of yourself. By feeling proud of yourself, you get the confidence to do what you set your mind to. These positive healings help me to build a mindset of resilience. Cold showers teach you to confront discomfort and push through it. Such as with life when facing a difficult situation, we just need to power through. It helped with equipping myself with the necessary mindset to handle adversity and setbacks in aspects of life, to develop a can-do attitude and become more willing to take on new challenges which actually ended up increasing my motivation to do it. The sense of accomplishment in one area of life, like this one, can spill over into other aspects of your life. It can motivate you to set and achieve more challenging goals, both big and small, as you become more confident in your abilities to overcome obstacles. And with the right motivation and mindset, you're on the good track to building new habits and discipline. The goal of this challenge was to step out of my comfort zone and build the discipline I was lacking in life. The discipline to do what I say I will do and to continue with my life with a clear mind. For anyone that is inspired to start this challenge, I have a few tips for you. The first one is to control your breathing. Inhale and exhale in 4 seconds in and 4 seconds out. This will help you not to hyperventilate which can get your body into shock state and actually make the shower more painful. You need to accept your fate. It's gonna be cold. You know what you are getting into. If you begin with delaying the entrance into the cold, not only you waste energy and time, but you make the matter worse than it actually is. Accept your fate and acknowledge the water is cold. Think rationally. It's just a shower. Just get over with it, do it, accomplish it and Continue with your day. I mean, in the end, what's the worst that can happen? There is no reason to make a problem from a cold shower. I started this challenge with the goal to build discipline. Little did I know that the benefits were bigger than that. It was just a shower, but that shower helped me with my mood and improving certain aspects of my life. It provided me the tools that I needed at the right time, actually. And remember that reward that I started off without in this challenge. Well, the reward I got from this experience is a life lesson that will stick with me forever. Discipline. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of fun content coming out your way that I'm currently working on and I'm really excited to get out there. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one.